Get ready for the smackdown. Get ready for the smackdown. How you gonna react when you put in the back Cause there's no turning back when you're facing the smackdown. All right, guys, so we're back again. Uh, still have my friend Depozilla, he's still with me, still hanging out with me. You're gonna, yep. Still hanging out. Uh, back again with some more fights. Uh, we, this is our farewell song to Batman for my fantasy fights. Uh, no longer will be using the Dark Knight. He's retiring. He's going in the, what I like to call the Hall of Fame in a sense. Uh, he's gonna be heading it. He's so gonna far. be heading it so far. Uh, but uh, we're back again, and we have Batman versus Blade. The Daywalker. We all should know Blade. So, uh, yes, it's Batman versus the Daywalker. Half vampire, half human, with none of their weaknesses. Uh, so, we move on to basically uh, the fight, because we all know about Batman. Don't need to talk about him. So, let's let's move on to his opponent in this, Blade. All right. So, I'm going I'm to say a little bit, and then I'm going to let Ty say a little bit as well. Uh, so we all should know Blade a little bit. You, you should all know him. He he's the Daywalker. Vampires know him and fear him, and even respect him. He's the Daywalker. He he has all their strengths, none of their weaknesses. He he is half. He's a half breed. But unlike other vampires, he can walk in the day. He doesn't burn in the sunlight and things like that. Holy water doesn't hurt him. Crucifix don't hurt him. Things like that. He is he is trained in various skills and ancient weapons and ancient fighting styles as well he is a bad motherfucker um this is a guy who he can, he'll crack jokes but it's not like he's not like spider-man where he's cracking jokes all the time he like i said he's a guy who is highly respected by and feared so you got fear and respect from your enemies so that's that's something right there um a lot of the Marvel heroes know him and know, okay, this is the guy to go to when dealing with vampires most of the time. Uh, and it's not just vampires, he's fought, guys. Yeah, so take it away, guy. Take it away, take uh, With Blade, this is, like I said, vampires may be his forte, but Blade has taken on some major Marvel villains and heroes. I mean, I remember one comic where he beat down Wolverine. Yeah. Not just when Wolverine was a vampire, but regular Wolverine. Not only that, he's taken on likes of Captain America, Black Panther, uh, Spider-Man, Punisher, uh, even Elektra, and I've even seen him beat Doctor Doom in a fight. And this is a guy who looks at his enemy and, you know, even though all of his weapons are meant to kill vampires, this is a guy who will gladly, you know, fight somebody who is non, you know, non-vampire and come out on top. And not just that, guys, he's taken on werewolves, zombies, demons. Uh, super soldiers, all kinds of other things in the Marvel Universe. Hell, even aliens. Um, Blade is uh, very intelligent. He is someone... Uh, you see in the movies, they kind of portray him as a hothead, but when you see him in the comics, he's very... He'll watch somebody. He'll figure out someone's weakness very quickly, and mixed it with martial arts, his weapons, and all that vampire power, he's a triple threat. Yeah. He, 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 yeah, like Ty said, you know, He's very calculative and he's really calm. You really never see him getting overzealous in a fight. He's really calm and collective about when he's fighting these, these his opponents. And there are times, yeah, you know, he, he feels that you can understand his anger at some times, but you see it's a collective anger and he was trained to channel that anger. Now, in the comic wise guys, Whistler was not his trainer. I think a lot of people get that confused. He was actually trained by a fellow uh, vampire hunter who was actually a jazz musician when he grew up in London. See, that's another thing a lot of people forget. That he, he grew up in London. He was born in London. He wasn't born in New Orleans or somewhere else that they portray in the movies. Um, his mother worked in a brothel house. And so he was around all that stuff a lot until uh, we all know Deacon Frost bit her and things like that 
But Blade is a, a triple threat, like Ty said, and a very dangerous opponent. But he's a good ally to have. You know, he's he's a guy that you you want as an ally, but you would hate to have as a villain, as your enemy. You know? Yeah. If you were a vampire, just kill yourself, because he's going to do worse to you. I mean, there have been some occasions where he has not killed some vampires. Like, for example, Jubilee. He hasn't killed her, even though he was there when she became a vampire. Um, she, he didn't kill her, but he did warn the X-Men. Eventually, she's going to succumb to her vampirism, so you better do it now before anything. But as of right now, we haven't seen that. Uh, and of course, because of the fact that Blade actually gave her the serum that keeps her cravings in check. So it's, it's kind of interesting to see, okay, this guy is not just a bloodthirsty vampire hunter that we know. Uh, he is he's willing to help people. Yeah, he's willing to help. He's willing to help. And it's basically now what we see him now in the Marvel U. He is, believe it or not, guys, is the new Ronin that's on the Mighty Avengers. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm, I mean, guys, if you don't get it, okay, I figured that out a while ago. I was like, that's got to be Blade. And it makes sense. I think he's gotten into some kind of trouble why he's now going to, he's the new Ronin uh, on the the uh mighty avengers at first he was that spider hero guy and then he's going to become the new ronin which i is makes some sense i think he got into some trouble that his face is out there now it's like okay i need to go into disguise and what better to go as a character that many other heroes have used in the past like echo and clint and people like that so yeah blade is the new ronin for everybody who doesn't and he's an avenger now yeah he's an avenger so it's kind of interesting uh, but Blade is a very, very, very dangerous guy. So uh, let's move on to the battle breakdown, shall we? Okay, we got... Now, has Bruce faced people like Blade? Uh, yeah. He's fought vampires before. He's fought vampires before. He's fought them. But but this is, a, this is Blade that is... He has none of the vampire's weakness. So... Blade, Bruce and Blade, Bruce has really got to analyze this fight in a sense of like, okay, how do I fight this guy? But on a one-on-one -on -one fight and no, no prep time, how does Bruce tackle somebody like Blade? The other thing is that I could see Blade mistaking Bruce the first time they meet as a vampire. Like, yeah, I, I could kind of see that as well. You know, you just feel that like, obviously, I mean, hell, even Spawn mistook Batman as a demon. Yeah, so we got this fight. Now, both of these guys have great martial arts skills, and they do have their, their, their different tools of the trade, you know, that they have. You know, Blade has a, a sort of shuriken, batarang-style uh, projectile he throws, and, of course, he has his, his classic sword, but uh, I can see this fight as a hand-to-hand -hand combat fight as well before I even see Blade even going for his sword. Um, but I would definitely know Blade would, after a while, will know this guy's human. He'll, 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 he, I, Blade has a sense, he can sense when somebody's vampire and you're not vampire. He will give Bruce respect, like, okay, you're pretty good. Like, you know, I could see that. But I, I for one, guys, don't see them killing each other. I don't see Blade going for a kill shot or anything like that. Um, that's well, I can definitely me. see yeah, I could definitely see this is going to be a no-kill fight here, but they're going to beat the crap out of each other. Yeah, they'll beat the crap out of each other to, you know, it's going to come down to endurance, you know. I've never seen Blade in a fight really huff and puff, like, <sighs> and get, and his endurance level is down. I've seen Bruce like that, but he doesn't show it as much, but I've seen him once or twice like that. It's like, <sighs> you know, breathing and huffing and puffing like that. But, uh, yeah, this is an interesting fight, guys. I'm not saying edge to Bruce automatically and edge to Blade. Uh, so I, I'm going to stay neutral in this fight, guys. Yeah, I'm going to stay neutral. Uh, what do you think, Doc? This is a close one because both of them are great martial artists. They're both weapons experts. They're both great warrior heroes in general. But you got to look at it that Bruce is still human and Blade has all the kind of all the training that Batman has. But he has all that vampire abilities with all the, you know, with all the unneeded, you know, all the unneeded weaknesses. So Blade could take this, but I don't, but however, Bruce could easily, 
um, take out Blade. So this is a tough one. I mean, it all depends on uh, who's going to underestimate the other one first. I mean, Blade can easily look at it as like, you're just a human. And the other one's like, and you're, and Batman could just easily say, well, you're overconfident. Right. So that's why I'm kind of stay out of this one. But uh, other than that, guys, uh, who do you feel is the winner in this? Batman or the Daywalker himself, Blade? Uh, and I hope you guys enjoyed this fight. Uh, once again, we got two more to go. Uh, Ty's still going to stay with me. And uh, we got the next one, which is from, let me make sure who requested this fight. I am Superman. Uh, and he's going to, we're going to have Bruce go against Oroku Saki, the Shredder. So we'll be back and you guys uh, take care. <laughs>